Hi Kijani Smile viewers, welcome back to Kijani Smile channel and today we are going to share information on how to start a small scale uh, farming for black soldier fly farmers in Kenya and also the entire world. Welcome back again to our channel and the question here is what do you need for you to be able to start a small scale farm for black soldier fly? So the first thing that you need is the food. And for us here in our farm, we use uh, uh, the fruit waste. As you can see, it's, it's comprised of the banana peels, the potato peels, the orange peels, and also a bit of avocado and watermelons. And you'll also need the drums whereby you can store your waste. And you can also use this drum for fermenting before you feed it to your black soldier fly. We also need more of the drum so that you can be able uh, to conduct your business effectively. As you can see, we have like three drums. And if you don't have the plastic drums, you can use uh, normal sacks, which you can find them available in your market. And you can, see, you can see here, we have other waste inside here. Uh, most of it's comprised of the fruit waste, avocado. So you can use this sack for your own black soja fly farm also what you need is, um, is a manual siever whereby you can use it to be able to sieve the black soja fly lava and for us so this manual sieve it's actually made from wood as you can see the wood and a bit of mesh which you can find in your nearby hardware and also this one is used to ensure that you separate uh, the potato peels and the seedlings that have been already been digested by the black soldier fly lover. You also need a plastic sieve like this one. This one will separate now the black soldier fly lava and the frass. You also need uh, a love cage net. As you can see, ours here. Uh, we have the frame, the wood frame. Uh, it should be painted with a bit of oil so that it can ensure that it repels uh, small worms that can be able uh, to enter and affect the black soja fly breeding. So we use the love cage net for breeding and for getting the eggs here. And you must have a bit of oil to ensure that you discourage the mites from trying to enter your love cage net. You also need a, a bit of, uh, of plastic wood which you can use uh, to make your own nest whereby your flies, the black soldier flies will be laying eggs in these small cravings. You will also need a place whereby you can be able to feed your black soldier fly larva and a place whereby you can be able to hatch the eggs. As you can see we are using the plastic trays. So we're using these trays and these trays enable us to feed the black soldier fly from day one and also to hatch the eggs. Also, uh, today we are going to share on how we are going to separate the black soldier fly lava and the frass and all these wastes as you can see it over here we're also going to share on how we use our our frass here for planting and also the progress in terms of what we have so this is also the the frass that we have here so when you're going to do your your seeding you take your crates your plastic crates like this one and when you take your plastic points like this one, you'll take your sievers. And when you take your sievers, you place them over here. And then you're going to take the lava and all the stuff here to be able to separate them from the fruit waste. So as you can see, this is what we have. And when you come here, you can see that we have uh, the black soldier fly, some of them which are dormant, and you're going to separate them today also, so that they can be taken to the love cage net, and then 
they convert themselves into flies and then we get the eggs from there so we are also going to need another plastic wrap to, to ensure that we are able to sieve the black pigeon fly effectively so we are going to also put this here over here and as you can see As we keep on proceeding with the sieving process, you ensure that we remove the avocado seedlings and also the mango seedlings to ensure that uh, the sieving process is complete and it's effectively. So we ensure that we separate this and we also remove this. We keep on removing this so that we ensure the black ones remain on the mesh so that we can later sieve them and separate them to go to the love cage net so we keep on removing this remove the avocado which has been digested by the black sugar fly remove the ceilings with the avocado as you can see we have the blacks which are dominant um, so we remove this and when we remove this, we place it into another tray so that you can see them later. And then we remain with the frass, which is the bio fertilizer, which can be used for planting. It's actually organic fertilizer. And then we remove also these other ones also. To ensure we do the same same process. So we have done all. we keep on sieving we mix up the three of them as you can see we have some love in here and this is the first process of sieving the lava from the avocado seedlings and the mango seedlings and the other food twist so as you can see the frost some people think that we have added soil here no this is not soil this is part of the fecal matter of the black soil fly and also part of the remains of the food waste which was consumed by the black soil fly and this one is a dried black soil fly frost which we use for planting. Uh, we used some to plant the eggplant and also the popo. And we are going to show you. Uh, so this is the eggplant. As you, can, as you can see, the progress is actually good. And we are going to have a fruit here, which is really, really nice. So we use the black soldier fly for us for this. And we also have nice fruits here for the popo. Very good looking. And we have a bit of tomatoes here and a bit of other plants here. So that's how we use the black soldier fly frost for planting or for plants. And we are going to show you how we separate the frost from the black soldier fly lover. And this is what we do now. In the last process, this is what we do. This is the second stage of sieving. So you ensure we are now in the second stage of sieving process whereby we are going to separate the frost, the pre pupa, which is the black ones, the ones that are dom dormant, and the ones that are moving. So we are going to use this uh, plastic uh, siever. You can get it from any shop that sells plastic. Uh, items so this is what we are going to do and we're going to shake it a little bit so that we separate the cross and the lava and so we're going to place them on uh, on the other sieve so that we separate the moving ones and the ones that are not moving the dormant ones that's the pre pupa the black ones 
So we keep on doing the sieving. And as you can see, we are able to sieve. And this is the second stage of the process whereby we separate the ones that are moving and the ones that are not moving, the dormant ones and the black ones. Cut. So this is the frost that remained after the second stage of our sieving process and this is whereby we now separating the dormant ones from the ones that are still moving. So on this other side now we have the dormant ones that we are supposed to take them to the love cage net to be able to get the flies which will give us the eggs so we'll ensure we keep it in another separate tray keep on doing that 